All right, in section 8.2, we're gonna be talking about surface area. And again, we'll do most of these problems together in class, but I wanna at least develop the formula. And so I'm just gonna develop the formula where you have a curve. Um, and then what we're gonna do when I mean, what, when I say surface area is we're gonna take this curve, we're gonna rotate it about the line um, y equals x. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a three-dimensional solid. And we wanna know what's the surface area of that solid. And so based on the shape that I have, we're looking at something that's gonna look like this, and then it'll have, it'll be hollow. And then it'll be the mirror image on the other side, so it's symmetric. And then it'll be open there. I'm a terrible drawer, but that's what I'm looking at. And it's hollow on the inside. And then you wanna know what's the area of that uh, three-dimensional object, that surface of revolution is what they're called. And so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, again, split this up uh, into pieces. And I'm just gonna zoom in on one piece, okay? So we're gonna zoom in, say, on uh, this subinterval. Okay, and so we're gonna approximate this like you do in, in Calc 1, we're gonna approximate this with a rectangle. And it doesn't matter if you use the right endpoint, left endpoint, the midpoint, it doesn't matter because we're going to let n go to infinity and the error is going to go to zero. So it doesn't matter what method we use. And what we're going to do here is we're going to think about how do we calculate that surface area? How do I figure out the area of this piece here? Um, and actually, I'm, I'm just kidding. We're not talking about surface areas. Uh, we're not talking about rectangles here. We're going to use uh, basically the same trick that we had before. Um, so we're gonna look at that difference there, that arc length there. So the arc length will be relevant. And it turns out what we're gonna add up to get the surface area, and I'm gonna call the surface area S. But what we're gonna add up is, um, we're gonna add up two pi times the height of this particular uh, piece, so F of Xi, times the arc length of the piece. Uh, which we know um, this is a similar calculation to what we had before, but delta x squared plus, so again, just coming from the distance formula, f of x sub i minus f of x sub i minus one, all squared under the square root. And then we'll do the same trick. So we're gonna let i go from one to n, and then I'm just gonna write it compactly here, and we're gonna take a limit. Okay, so very similar idea. We're just computing the area of the shell and then letting n go to infinity. And same trick as before, we factor out the delta x, put that in the denominator here. You get, the, you get one plus the derivative squared with the delta x outside. And it turns out that your surface area formula that you're gonna get is gonna be the integral from a to b of two pi. So this is just gonna be two pi f of x times the square root of one plus the derivative squared, squared. Okay, so that's gonna be your surface area formula uh, that we're gonna look for there. And so let's do, um, just like we did before, let's look at a circle of radius one in the first quadrant. Okay, so this is y equals square root of one minus x squared. Uh, just between zero and one. And then we're gonna rotate this about the x-axis, figure out what's the surface area. And this will be the um, half the area of a sphere of radius one. Okay, is what it'll turn out to be. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate again, y prime. So that's negative x over square root of one minus x squared. Y prime squared then is x squared over one minus x squared. And then plug everything into our formula. So our surface area formula is gonna become uh, the integral from zero to one, two pi. Um, our function was square root of one minus x squared. And then if we look at the square root of one plus y prime squared, that's one plus x squared over one minus x squared. This is gonna work out even nicer than the formula that we had before, because when you add these together, this is, one minus x squared over itself, okay? And so you end up with 
two pi square to one minus x squared times uh, one over square root of one minus x squared. I have way too many square roots here. And the square roots happen to cancel. And you end up with two pi. Okay, and so it turns out that if you take the sphere of radius one and then rotate about rotate that about the uh, x-axis, you have half of a sphere, um, or sometimes called a sphere cap. Um, and that that sphere cap is going to have area two pi. Um, of course, you know the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. And so the surface area is the derivative of that uh, with respect to r. Okay, so that's uh, four pi r squared. So the surface area of a sphere of radius one is four pi. We're only talking about half of that sphere. So only from zero to one. So that cuts it in half, that's two pi. Okay, so that again agrees with what we got there. And we'll do lots more examples in class together. Okay, but those are really the only two formulas that we need to know. We have our arc length formula, which we talked about in our previous video, and then the um, surface area formula. Okay, and so those are our formulas from 8.1 and 8.2 to worry about.